And today's question is, I cannot see my business on Google Maps even though it is verified. Okay, well that's actually not that unusual. And the message continues, Hi, I recently added my business and I'm looking to have it show up when it's Googled. However, it will not show up on Google Maps or on Google Search, even when you specify search from my company name. I verified the map listing with my mailed-in code this morning. Am I missing something? Well, yes and no. Now, you don't say on here um, whether you have verified your website with Google Search Console, formerly Google Webmaster Tools. Um, and in order to show up in search, it does help to verify your page or your site with Google Search Console. Um, you actually are looking at two different things here, Google Search and Google Maps. Um, and you say you verified your business with Google My Business, which is the uh, user-controlled si side of, of Google Maps that lets business owners list their businesses. You can also just edit map results, but that's different. Um, so you say you've done that. You you're, you've verified your Google My Business listing. Now, um, you just did this yesterday. So it may not be indexed yet. Even if it is indexed, there may be other businesses in the same business as you in your area who are competing for space for those three available. Another possibility is simply that you're not doing the right search. If you search specifically for your business name and you don't come up, that may be because, and I see by your business name, you do have common keywords, floral and sage, in your business name. And there's a lot of places that are going to show up for those keywords that have been around longer than your site and will probably show up first. So if you search for your specific business name coupled with your physical location, then I am sure you will probably see your website. Um, and as time goes by, some things you can do is try to get your customers to leave you business reviews on Google My Business, on Facebook, um, because the more positive reviews you have, the more that you show Google that you are a uh, worthwhile and honest business, and the higher you will show up in search results um, even in your local area um, and there are other things you can do too you can produce new content on a regular basis you know um, and post that to your website share it on your social networks even if the content is images of the arrangements that you create along with a little description you know that's that's certainly better than nothing um, you know, there's there's no one model of the best content for you to put up. It's whatever is best for your business and your customers. Um, so if you work on those things, develop a content strategy, try to get some positive reviews online, add more content to your website, interact with people on your social networks, get likes and shares, and, and check it again, you know, maybe once a month as far as where your search position is and you will see yourself at least showing up before too long and again it's going to depend on your competition and what they are doing the more they are doing the more you're going to have to do to compete and that's just life hopefully that helped thanks hi this is mike johnston and the question of today is what are adwords ad extensions and if you're just getting into using adwords ad extensions can be great tools um, <clears throat> the simple definition given here is that AdWords charges no more than two clicks per impression on each ad and its extensions. The cost of clicks and extensions are set in the same way as headline clicks. The most you'll pay is what is 